Welcome to the Innovate Within Weekly Recap. The topic we focused on this week were micro and macro networks. I get confused when people lament, it's not what you know, it's who you know, or your network is your net worth, and then not do anything about it. This is what we focused on this week for our cohort. But what is your network and how do you build a network as a teenager? We broke this down from a macro and micro network level. For example, I live in Indianapolis where there are several large companies that I might want to learn from or collaborate with. So a Salesforce or Eli Lilly is a macro network. A micro network is Steve in accounting at Salesforce. He's my neighbor. And by knowing your, and taking account of your micro network, you're able to identify who you might want to work with in a macro network. So by breaking down this list of neighbors and friends, they realize that they probably have access to a greater macro network than they originally thought. Conversely, having students identify what amazing companies are in their region or local community pays off as well, as they can take to LinkedIn or local chambers of commerce to find out and connect with micro networks that work there. Here's what some of our students had to say. I've reached out to a lot of different macro people, such as Jason Capital. If you don't know him, he was a millionaire by 20. Uh, he was named top 100 entrepreneurs by the White House a few years back. And I've also reached out to uh, various tool companies such as Milwaukee, Craftsman, Snap-on, Harbor Freight. All of these will fall into your macro category. Now, I've not reached out to any specific micro networks, but what I've done is I've used my community to reach out to these big name people. Um, such as using Twitter, I, I put a post out and I inform all of my local community people you know, to retweet, to, to get that exposure out there. So hopefully these macro people will reach back out to me. To begin, I found a local park who has a wildlife biologist, and I was able to contact him, a man who actually works in animal mitigation, which is pretty awesome considering that's what I want to do. I also have begun researching and preparing to contact many different local wild rehabilitation centers. A macro connection that we've made is Recovery Force, which is a company that produces compression devices. A micro connection that we've made is Mr. Matt White, an employee at Recovery Force, where we plan to visit with them the next month. Because we plan to have our gloves sold on shelves at retail stores, one macro network connection that we're looking forward to establishing is with CVS Health. And a micro network connection that we've made related to CVS Health is through the Hispanic Heritage Foundation, who's sponsored by CVS. We've recently been in contact with the CEO of the Hispanic Heritage Foundation, and he's expressed a lot of excitement in helping us reach our goals. So here's the key learning moment. Your network is more important than ever, and there is no better time for students than now. With special tools like LinkedIn and creating professional relationships, we can have our students identify potential mentors and collaborators. More importantly, this exercise allows our students to identify local networks that will want to help them and probably want to retain their talents locally. When our students identify these local micro and macro networks, they set themselves up for learning opportunities, potential job offers, and can even be a way for them to provide value to their local communities as well. It's not what you know, it's who you know isn't a salesy, cheesy line. It's the bottom line for growth, value, and being aware of opportunities. If you're enjoying these videos and want to watch our students progress, we encourage you to follow their journey here on this channel. Some of these students have their own social media platforms and we will list those as they feel ready and comfortable. The Started Up Foundation is excited to be working with these amazing students, but we're also wanting more students everywhere to achieve an entrepreneurial mindset to solve the world's biggest problems. If you'd like more information on how to start your high school entrepreneurial journey, go to our website at startedupfoundation.org.